Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fam with Back Relief Center, offering convenient, affordable chiropractic care. Today's Tuesday, we're open. Uh, we had a very busy day yesterday. We were able to help a lot of people feel better. Uh, we're back in the office today between 9 and 12 and 3 and 6. Uh, please call ahead for an appointment. If you want to drop in, that's fine. You just have to wait a few minutes uh, until we can clear some people out of the office and be safe and sanitary with the uh, pandemic um, guidelines. Um, today, we're going to talk about whiplash. Uh, whiplash is uh, an injury most commonly occurred with uh, motor vehicle accidents. Typically what happens is, uh, for example, if you're hit from behind when you're driving, your body is just jerked forward and back and it causes like a snapping motion of the head and neck. Most common symptoms are neck pain, upper back pain, shoulder pain, and headaches or migraines. Uh, these are what patients typically report when they come into the office. And what happens is the actual ligaments get damaged. Sometimes the bones can get damaged, the joints can get damaged, depending upon the severity. It does not take much speed or impact um, to cause some sort of damage. So it's important if you are in a car accident that you get checked, you get x-rayed first and foremost, to make sure there's no major damage, uh, and then you get an assessment by a chiropractor, physical therapist, medical doctor, whatever it is, uh, to make sure uh, that you know, there are no injuries that could uh, result in permanent problems um, or problems down the road. Um, and in regards to whiplash, I was reading an article in, from the American Journal of Otolaryngology, April 2020, this year. And it, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, the title of the article is, Old and Young May Experience Whiplash Symptoms Differently. And what they found in this study is that young people, when they're in car accidents or sustain some sort of whiplash injury, the most common area of complaint is the neck. Usually they'll have neck stiffness, neck pain, uh, maybe even some headaches, but most of it is primarily in the neck and the shoulders, upper back, um, which could kind of make one to believe that the neck muscles, uh, tendons, ligaments were damaged as part of the injury. What's interesting about the study is that when, when they took the same kind of um, accident in an older individual, the most common complaint was dizziness. Okay, so um, same injury, different impact on the body. So in older individuals, there may be more of an effect on the brain possibly uh, being damaged because of the dizziness component uh, as a possibility. Uh, there might still be some damage or there might be uh, additional damage in the neck, but two different complaints there, um, same kind of injury. So it's very interesting, uh, this article. If you want to read the full article, you can, I give you the reference, you can check it out. Uh, but bottom line, you're in a car accident, you're sustained whiplash, get checked out immediately, don't wait. Uh, a small injury can become a big injury or a big injury can become much worse over time and cause to be permanent disability. We don't want that to happen. Uh, that's all we have today in regards to our um, health topic. Uh, if you have any questions about this or anything else about our office, just give us a call, shoot us a message on Facebook, Instagram. Please continue to like and share our, our, our videos and our posts. We really appreciate your support. And I really hope you have a great day. It's supposed to be another beautiful day outside. We've been blessed with the weather recently. Have a great day. Talk to you next time.